Ladies and gentlemen, I know it has been a long time, uh, a y over a year, uh, a year and like four or five months to be exact. May 2020 was the last time I uploaded a Alaska University video. Today, before I went to school, I started watching my own series over, and I remembered how fun it was, and I started it because Corona was boring and I had nothing to do, so I began to record again. And as Corona is still technically going on, and I am in school and I work, I decided to start again, uh, picking up the series where it left off. If you don't remember playing the Revenge Tour against FCS East, Canada County, and then going into conference play, you need to go back and start all the way back when I started. Uh, May was the last video, so it was a long time ago, of 2020, a whole year has gone by plus and much has changed nonetheless quick recap i already i rewatched the whole series so i already know a lot and remember enrique hernandez is still my favorite player i remember we still have gadgets we have wilkinson we have heard anderson the electrifying freshman at running back who dropped absolutely nine domes on the richmond tigers here 228 carries, 589 yards, 9 touchdowns. I remember all of it just because I watched the series. So go back and do that if you missed it. If not, and you're here to just watch it. Or if you're one of the boys, shout out. I'm back. Maybe. We'll see. If I have time, I'll do these. Don't expect them very often. Just when I'm bored and I want to play old NCA again. But rundown, we beat these teams. Lost to these three. And then we won two in a row. Big Richmond, Nevada. Lost to San Jose State. Which is crazy that like we can blow teams out. Or like close game close game and then you know we get blown out close game kind of like a medium game we win big against the reigning champions of the division 2a uh beat nevada which is a big conference win for us and then we get blown up by san jose state and then blown up by utah state it is crazy how the tables can turn but we have number number seven we have uh, week 11 here Owen 8 Idaho is going to check the game info. They are almost dead last in a lot of categories. Total defense, uh, passing defense, they are dead last. So maybe we can, you know, work our bread and butter with Stewart. Because, yes, I did not forget about Stewart and Jones. As again, I watched it. Go back and watch it if you have not. But we are, you know, our statistics are not good. Our pass offense is dead last. But with this game, maybe we can bring it up a little bit. Um, we still play four quarters. So obviously, it is still, you know, not very accurate, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and get in this first game. I always do that. I always say let's get into the game, and there's always some type of uh, conflict. So, Stuart Academics has missed a few classes. His GPA has dropped. Well, it's, we're going to have to send him three quarters. That's just what we're going to have to do. Matt Warren, the freshman, what happened to him has not made it to mandatory workout session this happened. Two games is definitely going to have to happen. That is not tolerated. I want to give... I want to give Stewart two quarters so we can play him. But he'll make, we'll just let him come in the fourth. Hopefully work his magic if we are going to end up getting down. Let's go ahead and start. Finally. And I'll see you guys at kickoff. And we are back with the kickoff. Idaho won the toss and elected to receive. We are playing in Anchorage, Alaska. And the wind is absolutely crazy. 24 miles per hour as we get to boot into the wind. Which is very nice. As we're going to go ahead. And Anderson's going to go ahead and try to make a tackle. No tackle there. But it's going to be brought down by a couple Mountaineers around the 32-yard line. This Idaho team is not very good. 0-8. And we have one WAC conference win. So getting another would feel quite great. But... They are a decent team, nonetheless. They're not dead, dead last. They are 113 nationally ranked as they're going to pick up a first down on the pass there to Smith for 14 yards as we're going to come out and do our thing with Hernandez. Hopefully, we're going to come off the edge, see if we can hit him fast and hit him hard, and see if we can get around some tackles and some tight end blocks and see if we can get in there. As it's going to be a run up to gut as he's going to be met at about the maybe a three yard gain with a big hit from Gaddis. We're going to go man coverage here. We're going to blitz with Hernandez off the edge. Hopefully that tackle's too occupied. No, but slant and it's dropped by the receiver over the middle. We got third and seven. We're actually going to drop back the coverage. We're going to bring four as it's going to be a run and up the gut and it's going to be fourth down as the Mountaineers on the first game back as a playing 
We're going to go ahead and force Idaho to punt. After the fair catch at the 24, we're going to go ahead and hand it off to Barber for the first play. Up the gut, as he's going to fumble right away. Oh, no. That could not have started off worse. He's going to recover his own fumble, but he's going to lose yard in the process. After that fumble, we need to get some yards back, and there's no better way to get yards back than the Chiefs play. We used to do this all the time. This is how we put up so many points against Richmond is Anderson getting the outside. Kind of used this block up ahead of him, but it's going to be a gain of five. It's going to be third and six. Usually we have Stewart for these kind of situations, but we have Jones and Conley. We're going to drop back to pass and run the slants. We're going to hit Conley over the middle. Ball is just overthrown. It's going to be fourth down. We're going to be forced to punt. First and ten. We're playing cover three. We're looking for the pass here. We're going to line up with Larkins on the right-hand side. We're going to see what we can do here against this Idaho offense. As Larkins not going to be able to get in there. But Johnson is there to make the tackle. Ball on the 39-yard line. Second and eight. As we're lined up with Hernandez on the outside. Pump faking. Smith is going to be brought down for a sack. Third and 11. And that was Larkins on the sack. Because we're going to play Guerrero. Our right end. As we're going to see if we can get in there. As he's going to try to spin move. Make a man miss. The ball's thrown deep. And caught by Harrison. Carter was in coverage. Good catch. But not tight enough by Carter. Four down defensive linemen. This is going to be a play action pass. As he's going down the middle. And Todd was there. But he could not. Make the interception or even bat the ball down as Brady's going to take that in for an Idaho touchdown. First and 10, and we're going to see if we can air this one out long on first down. As we're going to drop back to pass. We're going to try to hit Jones on the deep post, and he's going to drop it. The cold weather must be getting to him. You play in Alaska all year. You practice in Alaska, and somehow you still cannot catch the ball in cold weather. Second and 10, and we are going to audible out of this play as they have so many people on the line. We're going to drop back. Looking to pass here as we're gonna, I don't know who we're gonna have open. We're just gonna drop back and hope we're gonna try to roll out. We got, oh, Johnson was open over the middle. I wasn't even trying to throw it to Barber. As that ball is gonna be intercepted by Walker, and Idaho's gonna have great field position. We need our offense to step up. Do we really need Stewart to be able to win games? As we're gonna blitz on the outside here with Hernandez and hopefully get in there. As we are, Hernandez, big hit on the Idaho Vandal. Second and 13 now, as there's 35 seconds left in the first, as Smith is going to drop back to pass. He's got Neil wide open over the middle, as there's no Mountaineers in sight. And that's going to be a first down inside the 10. First and goal, as Smith is going to drop back again. This ball's over the middle again! And this time there's a holding on the offense, so it's going to bring it back. Definitely going to accept that. As, again, that was another touchdown pass by Smith. Second and goal with the ball at the 16. Three seconds left of the play action fake. Wil Ooh! Wilkinson was going to try to get over there to make the tackle, but the ball is dropped anyway. Third and goal from the 16. We're definitely playing the pass here. As Johnson gets a great jump on the snap. Ball is thrown deep and deflected. I believe that's Todd over there on the right side. As that ball is deflected, and it was Todd, and they're going to force a field goal first and 10 for the mountaineers is they're going to hand the ball off to barber and barber's going to get met behind the line by the star linebacker frido second and 12 they're bringing the safety in we're going to go pitch to anderson and hope he can use his speed to outrun this vandals defense as he gets a block in the end he does have the speed to break away breaks up field tippy toes down the sideline for maybe an extra yard or two Second and 10, and we brought everyone close to the line. Only one wide receiver to the right as we're going to go play action to Barber. And we're looking, we're looking. There's nobody open. We're going to try to redirect Stanley. Throw it to Stanley, and he's going to drop it. Ball was slightly thrown behind him, but he's got to make that grab to give us at least a third and manageable. Third and 10, uh, definitely another passing situation here. So we're going to go play action once more. The safety blitz. We're going to try to get it rid of it. There's a couple Mountaineers open on that right side, but there's just not enough time as that's that middle linebacker there to make the sack. After a slight return, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line as they're going to go play action fake again. This one open to the corner for Neil. Carter can't make the tackle. I don't think he stepped out of bounds, and it looks like he didn't. As that's a touchdown for Idaho on the first play of their possession. First and 10, and we're going to go ahead and run the option here as we're looking. We're going to... We'll try to pitch it to Barber. It's not going to really matter. He caught in the backfield for a massive loss as Valentine is there again to make another big play. Second and long, and we need a completion here to try to move the changes. We're going to go curl to Thomas. He just doesn't have enough time. As that is a big sack on her, and it's going to be third and very long. 
Idaho took a timeout to try to conserve some clocks so they can come down and score again. As soon as we start winning against Nevada and some you know other good teams, the worst team in the uh, WAC comes and is beating us 17-0 before half. So we're going to go ahead and try and see if we can get a first down here as Conley releases. We have Thomas there as that ball is just thrown too far on front. Just not enough time. Hurts. He's 0 for 6 right now with an interception. He's sacked twice as I was going to get the ball back with plenty of time. Second and 7 as they're dropping back the passes. That ball is caught by Weber. The tight end coming out on the little out route. Second and 6 at the 17 after a 4-yard run as... 1.18 is on the clock after they use a timeout as Johnson gets absolutely pancaked. Ball is thrown in the end zone. Swatted by McClendlin. Almost an interception, but we'll take it. No touchdown. Third and six, and we really need a defensive stop here. If we can go down and score before half, that would be great as Larkins is going to get put down. That ball's thrown in the end zone, and McClendlin was right there. He just has got to go to the ball, and that's an interception. But... That's going to be 24 to 0. Three timeouts. There's a minute seven remaining. We're at the 30 yard line. And we have plenty of time to try to make something happen. As there is, oh my goodness. That's exactly the opposite of what we wanted, please. That is exactly the opposite of what we wanted. As Idaho forces Anderson to cough up the ball. And now there's a 102. Idaho has the ball at our 23. This has been some of the worst case scenarios. As they have one timeout, still plenty of time left in great field position. As ha oh, Hernandez is going to get in there and get a sack. Force them to maybe use their last timeout here. No, they're not. They're not going to force to use their last timeout. They're going to go hurry up second and 18 at the 31. We have a great chance to stop them here and just not let any more points on the board. Hernandez back-to-back -back plays getting a sack. Can he make it one more? One more forces about a field goal range. If ha if Hernandez can get one more sack here, then there's a big chance that there's no chance at a field goal. Hernandez, speed boost, almost got in there. Throw is going to be thrown to the outside and dropped. Fourth down at the 38. They might not have enough for a field goal. Granted, it is great win for them i would try the field goal even with my kicker 28 miles per hour wind slightly to the right 22 seconds there's still plenty of time kind of we have three timeouts we're gonna go and try to go toss to anderson as there's not really much he can do there we're gonna go and waste our first time out and see if we can get something going this drive to maybe put some points on the board second 11 we're gonna block anderson we're gonna block the fullback only three routes 17 seconds left we're gonna drop back past see if we can find collins open on the the deep post is he gonna make the catch around the 45 yard line 11 seconds left we're gonna hurry the ball we still have two timeouts we want to save those if we can we want to save those if we can we need to get a pass off here though we need to get a pass off here though come on oh just out of reach and we probably should have wasted timeout i didn't think it was gonna be that long of a play for it to only have three seconds remaining. We have one timeout. I don't think we really have a shot at an end zone shot because Hurd cannot throw that far. Maybe we can get lucky and Idaho pulls up their guys and we can get a run with Anderson here. I'm not too sure because Stewart was in. Stewart would be the option here, but I guess we just have to go Anderson. We have blockers. Get a field. Not enough as that safety took a good angle. And so we're going to go into halftime down 24-0 to to an 0-8 Idaho team. Lucky for us, Idaho did elect to receive after winning the toss. So we do get the ball at the third to try to make something happen here. As we're going to try to hand it off to Barbers. He's going to be able to get upfield for about a gain of three. Work a little bit. Maybe we just need to chop at this score. If we can just get this score down, even three points. Stewart comes in. He can burn that corner. There's no way that corner's keeping up with stewart on the side let's see if he can even keep up with jones he doesn't he doesn't even keep up with jones that middle linebacker scared me valentine is way too good second and nine we're gonna look to pass in the shotgun formations we're gonna have barber over the middle and he can't hold on as valentine is just everywhere on the field it seems like as he knocks that one loose our defense the past two drives besides the one they gave up on the touchdown most recent has been playing very well so let's hope they can keep that up and give our offense a fighting chance. Because I think 24 with Stewart isn't that much. I think we have a good chance. But if they get any more, then it's going to be quite hard to try to come back. It's, I'm pretty sure that's a lineman. They just ran a lineman eligible pass. 
Third and four. This is a big stop for the Mountaineers. If they can get this and we have a chance to go down and score, then Larkins breaks it off. No, Larkins even broke it. Oh, I'm so bad on the sticks. I'm so bad. Larkins even broke off the end, and I... Ah, uh, I let up the pass, and then two Mountaineers accidentally made him dive. That's totally on me. Something's got to break in this Idaho defense. We need a big run. We need at least a touchdown right now to do something before Stewart comes in because our offense is not cooking the same with him. And Anderson not being able to run the ball against a good... Well, I mean, I guess not really good. They're, they haven't won any games. But a decent Division One defense is very hard because he's being locked down. And that Valentine, that green linebacker is way too good as we're going to try to throw it short to Jones. He's going to make the catch. And it's going to be third and manageable. Fourth and three. We got to punt it as Hernandez is going to get down there. It's going to be a reverse. They did a reverse and there's no one there to cover. Brady is not only going to have a receiving touchdown, he is going to have a punt return on a reverse. Not only are they up 31 to nothing, they're running over reverse and showboating. They are proving to the WAC that they may be 0-8, but they are not the worst team in the WAC. First and 10 at the 24. We're going to go halfback draw to Anderson here and see if he can get to the outside. Maybe make a man miss. Fall forward for a first down, positive net yards. Third and 12, we're going to go option with... Oh, what? Anderson! What are you doing? We were going to go the option with Anderson. I tried to pitch this herd gets hit, and Anderson just lets the ball in his chest. What is he doing? First and 10 with the ball at the 12. It is the fourth quarter, so we will have Stewart. But down 38, I don't think we can amount that much of a comeback with him. Granted, he is... Oh, McClendlin pick six definitely helps with that. Granted, he is one of our best players. And I don't think that cornerback on that side is very good. So if we can get him one-on-one, -on -one, he might have a chance. But 38 is just too much to come back from. But a pick does help Carter. Oh, he can't make the man miss. But 12-yard return, I probably should have just taken the knee. I saw green and I went. But the Carter reception, that is very nice. Pad the stats. We are going to block Barber. We're going to go deep po. Oh, he's not even open. He's not even open. He's not even open. Throw that one away. Throw it away. No, fumble it. <laughs> Everything that is going bad is getting worse. First and 10 at the 50 after the free kick. Because everything that is going bad is only getting worse. As we had that pick to kind of turn the table in the first play. We go out and we get a safety because I pressed the wrong button and we don't throw the ball away. Secondly, that shouldn't have been a fumble. I should have gotten to the one yard line and then gotten down. I don't know how I fumbled. Like every, it's just, we're playing bad football right now. Big hit by Hernandez though. Third down in about two. Let's see if we can try just to get points on the board. I'm not going to say come back. I just want to get Stewart the ball a little bit too. So, you know, feel good. Go up in rating. Maybe he'll actually go to classes. Because he sees how bad we are without him. First and 10 at the 25. 248 remaining. I think they are just going to let the clock tick down to about 3-4 seconds before calling hike every time. Which is very courteous of them. But them pancaking and scoring is not, but that is just football. And right now we are playing some bad football. Holy cow. Touchdown, Vandals. First and 10 at the 31. They brought everyone down, so we're going to pitch to Anderson. He's going to get to the outside. He's going to get a field and could not outrun the safety. He took a very good angle. I took a very bad run. Should have just kept running straight. I went to the left a little bit. But granted, first down, moving the chains. Try to just, you know, get something out of nothing right now. Back-to-back -back run plays. So you know what comes next. Play action. We're going to try to look for Stewart here as he doesn't have the catch. We're going to try to throw it down the sideline to Stanley. And it's just going to be out of reach for him. He's going to catch it, but out of bounds. Fourth and four. We're on our half. There's no reason to punt here. We have nothing to lose. So we're going to drop back the pass. We're going to look. We got Stewart over the middle. The ball is thrown behind him. Hurd is having one of his worst games in a while. I don't know if it was her, if it was Stewart sitting out the three quarters or what, but they're they're just not connecting right now. Second and one now, as there's time winding, they're probably gonna wait until about six seconds again to snap, like they have been, which is very nice of them. And uh, one twenty is remaining. 
as we are going to get a Larkins tackle for a loss for three, so we're going to force third and four. And maybe maybe we can get the ball back up a points to the board. Any points right now to not negate uh, to negate the shutout would be quite nice. Third and four, under a minute left now in the fourth as Idaho's ran away with this one as they're dropping back to pass. McClendland, big hit, forcing the fourth down. So there is a chance that maybe we can go put a point on the board. But they're going to let this clock tick all the way down, I believe, on this punt. First and 29 seconds left. We're just going to go deep here and see if we can do anything. As Stewart is open, does catch it with four seconds left. Use a timeout. We're going to go ahead and run one last play. And man, oh man, has this been a tough game. I can't believe the score is this bad against an ONA Idaho team. Maybe Anderson get a touchdown here on his famous sweep. If not, we're going... We're going down with a big loss as we're going to go ahead and motion out Stanley. See if Anderson get that edge. Juke upfield, and he's going to be brought down 0 0 0 on the clock and 0 on the scoreboard. This is 47 to 0, and the Vandals get their first win of the season. All right, this week we got a buy, so we'll do 11 and 12 in this episode. We face 7 and 3 Boise State at Boise State. Oh, that's going to be a tough game on the road. We don't want to send this. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do recruiting. So I will see you guys at the recruiting page. We are at the recruiting page, and I don't think I did it last week unless I did it. Oh, I didn't watch all of the episodes, so I'm hoping we did it. Uh, I'm going to assume we didn't because we have 70 hours, and a lot of people have already committed to different teams. So we might not even get anyone, uh, which is very bad. Soft verbal. We are going to pump hours into homeboy same here oh he's already committed okay i remember that yeah quentin jordan he already committed that was like week nine so we're gonna pump the rest of these hours into the rest of these boys it looks like our defense is only gonna get better our offense got slightly better with a new six foot 209 receiver go ahead and look at this guy four three nine forty forty inch vert p plus hands great bench great squat he's got good potential that's a big pickup love that and we're looking to hopefully squeeze this guy He's visited for New Jersey Tech, so let's hope we can do good there. New Jersey Tech again. It looks like we're beating them out. He's soft verbal. Maybe we can change his mind by dumping hours into him. We'll put 45, then 25, 30. Hopefully, we can get more than one recruit this year. I believe we got two last year, so visiting Nevada, visiting UCLA, soft verbal. This guy's probably going to slip away, but if we can get this guy, if we can get the Crowder instead, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. So we'll go ahead and send this week and see if that changes any. And then uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, whenever that is. Don't know. Uh, when we play Boise State, which is going to be a rough game if we play how we played against Idaho. Because uh, look at week 8, 34-13, big win over Nevada. Who has two wins, granted. Um, who now has three. But then we lose to San Jose State by a blow, lose to Utah State by a blow. And then Idaho, we get absolutely creamed by Idaho. Who just took another L. So that's insane. Alright, so week 14 recruiting. And that doesn't look very good. As, oh no. Looks like we didn't get Crowder at all. He visited UCLA and committed that same week. That's very bad for us. Oh no. And then, I don't remember who the other guy was. But he also was a middle linebacker. He also went and committed... Who was it? Middle linebacker. Michigan? He wasn't on anyone's board. Nevada. Right here. He visited Nevada and also picked back-to-back -back weeks. They visit while we're on a bye, and they they committed. So we're going all in on Williams. If we're going to get someone, it's going to be Williams. We will get Quentin, Jordan, and Williams. We need to go all in. 16th national rank out of Richmond, California. Five, ooh, 540. Not very good. But he's got good potential, only average discipline, and he doesn't visit till week 14. Stanford is taking interest. He didn't sign while visiting Stanford, but he came very close, meaning we need to destroy New Jersey Tech. Speaking of New Jersey Tech and uh, destroying them, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to find... Where is it at? I actually don't know. The BCS rankings. So I'm going to show you guys the uh, week... What is this? 14? 12? 13? 
BCS rankings, USC on top, Florida State 2, West Virginia 3, Wisconsin 4, Ohio State 5. A two-loss Ohio State at that. And quite a lot of two-loss teams. Wow. Wow. There's a lot of... Wow. That's, that's actually kind of insane. Considering there's so many one-loss teams lower down. Um, so that's the BCS rankings. Heisman watch. Doubt it's Anderson. Uh, he only had one great week against... Uh, Against the Spiders, and yeah, he's off the board. I don't even remember if he was on it last time. You know, V quarterback takes the lead over Hawaii's quarterback, and then falling behind that is Green from Texas Tech. Bowl projections, go ahead and check these out. I don't know if, I doubt we'll be in a bowl because we are, we're not positive. Uh, we won't win the WAC, and I think you have to be at least positive or at least six and six something like that yeah so none of us that's all right go and check the conference standings for the whack as fresno state who we play next week is on top uh, i mean boise state excuse me who we play next week is on top then fresno state hawaii that utah state team san jose state team new mexico team nevada idaho and then us because we are one and six in the conference nevada is two and five and the idaho team's win is against us that is insane. Uh, if we win out, we might be able to play a bowl game because we'll be 6-6. Six and six. I doubt that will happen because, again, we play Boise State at Boise State, which is going to be insane. But nonetheless, um, getting a big win against this New Jersey Tech team would be awesome because, if I'm not mistaken, they aren't last. It's Canada County again. Back-to-back -back seasons going 0-11, it looks like. Where? New Jersey Tech 1-9. Okay, 1-9. Just got crushed by Cincinnati but they are putting up decent numbers nonetheless um I think we have a big I think we have a good chance here to beat this team 309 points against what is ours looking like not that high so we have a chance to win and hopefully get that guy recruited hopefully he doesn't re doesn't commit coming this week but next episode next week week 13 we will play at Boise State, and maybe we'll doubleheader it. We'll see how the game goes, how long it is, and how I feel. But that was your boy, Drew, and I will see you guys whenever the next one comes out, if uh, the next one even does decide to come out. But I'll see y'all later. Bye.